Hello everyone. Hi Pallavi, hi Preeti. Hi Soumya. Thank you so much for joining in. Hi Kanika. And extremely sorry for the noise uh, at my neighborhood. Uh, some furniture work is going on. So yeah. So today I have these puzzle pieces that uh, we are going to use. Hi Shilpa. Okay, so we will wait a couple minutes more and then we will start. Hi, Prerna. I have a very, very uh, oh, that's great for Lavi. Do share with me. Uh, we do have Facebook group. So over there you can share your work. Hi, Dara. Very good afternoon. How you guys are doing? Hi, Shruti. Hi Nidhi. Okay. So my glue gun is heated. So just in case if you have missed yesterday's session, then uh, here is a project so that we have created. I have uh, applied one layer of varnish okay. and I forgot to color inside but it's looking good. Hi Ranak. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure, Pallavi. So, this is what we have created yesterday. Thank you so much, Nidhi. And now, I will add one more layer on this. So, I have done uh, varnish on the front side only. So, now I will do uh, uh, on the rest uh, side as well. Oh, thank you so much, Fenika. <laughs> thank you so much. So yeah, this is what we have created, like simple and cute. Okay, so I think it's a good time to start. Uh, yes, Pallavi, I use a spray varnish. Uh, I'll just show you the product. So this is the varnish that I use. Hi, Sushma. Thank you so much, dear, for joining in. Hi, Vaishali. So this is the varnish that I use mostly. So uh, earlier I used to use a uh, Brustro varnish. So in that we have um, two types like uh, this one is glossy and another one is a uh, matte finish. So uh, sometimes I use glossy one, sometimes I use matte finish. The matte finish one that I had uh, it's uh, over. So now I am waiting for that product. Okay, so now um, these are the jigsaw pieces. I really love them to, you know, use in your mixed media project. They are like, uh, they create uh, amazing texture and as well as pocket friendly too. So it's not always necessary to, you know, buy stuff. You can also use popsicle sticks as well. Hi Sushma. So, uh, can we start now or shall we wait a couple minutes more? Oh, thank you so thank you so much Nimisha. Okay. So uh, what I'm thinking. Hi Hansa. Thank you so much dear for joining in. So what I'm thinking, I'll just add some um, some of these pieces first and see how it works. Okay. So this is the base layer and now we need to uh, add more layers okay so before that uh, let me see where is my jade medium i don't know i always forgot my jade medium okay and if you want you can also do stenciling uh, stenciling work uh, uh, on the background as well 
but today i'm not going to uh, use any kind of a stenciling since yesterday we have done some stenciling here and i really love the way it's looking thank you so much vaishali so uh you know it's very rare cases i use stencil otherwise i don't prefer stenciling much so this is the uh, idea that i have in my mind let's see how that works so i have random pieces here uh before starting do let me know am i audible to you or is my video clear so something like this hops this this something like this and on top of this i'm thinking to use this as my focal okay so so see this is the idea that i have uh, in my mind today okay so let's uh, take this for sticking i am using gel medium so again i got this butterfly pack uh, from amazon two days back in it has very wonderful butterflies so see uh, how wonderful butterflies uh, we have in this so this one is my favorite uh, where it yeah so this one is my favorite like this Okay. Oh, Vaishali. Um. Oh, you can't hear me. Um. Okay. So there are uh how many designs in this? Maybe three designs only. I got in this. So this whole pack uh costed me around uh I don't exactly remember. Maybe two seventy five or something. So there are there are um. 30 pieces in this so this is these are really thin pieces okay so let it be but we can use this in mixed media so yeah i just love this i have created mess here so i always you know looking for this kind of a stuff that uh, this this kind of a stuff you will get at jewelry uh, jewelry shop as well so where you know uh, you get raw material for jewelry so over there you can find this kind of a pieces and these are perfect for locket as well so just in case if anyone of you are jewelry maker then yeah you can go with this okay so now i am going to add gel medium okay and simultaneously i am also going to add some glue so that way so that way the uh, process will be you know kind of speed up because gel medium takes little bit time and you can't really rely on um, glue gun so that's the reason i am using both here so just little gap here okay oops so guys do invite your friends uh, to join us and uh if you try any project then uh, don't forget to share with me as i would definitely love to you know watch your process or your creation so on facebook group you can share your creations not only inspired by me any creation that you create you can share with us i really enjoy watching you all too okay so see our base layer is done okay 
so uh, what you are saying are these game pieces yes these are game pieces uh, these are uh, jigsaw pieces so this is how the pieces looks like so again i got these from amazon so it was kind of you know uh, i guess world map or something um, some game was there so here i'm going to add a I want something in middle here. Okay. So maybe this one look nice. So just add gel medium and uh, also add some glue uh, glue stick. If you are using, you know, if you don't want to uh, use. Uh, glue gun then you can absolutely uh, skip that process and now i'm stuck here so yes it will look nice i guess yeah so now uh so see there is no rocket science it's all up to you like however you want you can add these kind of a pieces If you don't find this kind of a pieces then um, there are wooden jigsaw pieces also available in the market so I guess few days back I have used that and now I don't have that with me you know I'll just uh, thank you so much Dara so now I'll just cut this okay because we don't want these big pieces at some places just cut it down okay okay and add some glue gun okay and place it here see i don't know how this piece will you know look i wish i had added some of this some of this one okay let me cut this one so i will be uh, adding this piece here just a second okay here i hope i am able to insert yes so this is done hi madhu okay and let's go here so for that uh, i don't know why i have added this piece yes we can add like this okay so see while creating uh, you will get idea like how you want your composition to be only thing is uh, whenever you are doing composition just make sure that it looks all together it should not go you know here and there so that way uh, you get interest in your project otherwise if you added a few pieces here and there it won't look nice so make sure that your pieces are all together okay this looks nice here oops so uh, when you are working with uh, glue gun okay how i kept this okay something like this see this looks nice not bad so and now uh, what i will do i'll just cut some pieces and we can add them here so basically we need to uh, make layers I and mean, we need to create layers okay let me see how that looks okay so we can add one more in here what do i say shall we add 
or shall we let it be like that it will look nice here right okay but it's not looking good here let's see here so i'm just trying to you know uh, figure out like how composition uh, will look and that way i am adding this somewhere like this okay, this looks good so so far it's looking good now what we will do we will add a black gesso or white gesso layer of black gesso or white gesso okay, it's not looking good here I need one piece. Okay, so let's cut this. So today I absolutely have no idea like what uh, you know I'm going to do. So it's kind of impromptu. So I uh, saw these jigsaw pieces on my table and I thought uh, let's create something using this. So most of the time I plan my sessions but today uh, I haven't planned anything. Okay. So this is done. This will look nice. And now uh, at some places what we will do we will add some fillers here. So deco stone or something that uh, we will add. So that way uh, our composition will look all together. So before oops before that i am going to color this so do let me know shall we use black gesso or white gesso what do you guys say hi kanchan thank you so much dear for joining in so shall we go with bl uh, black gesso or white gesso So here I have some glue, that's okay. Uh, what you are saying Dhara, you always come with amazing ideas, you gave us ideas to use things. Uh, thank you so much Dhara, so glad that uh, it's uh, helping you guys. Okay. So uh, some people are saying black gesso, some people are saying white gesso and I am confused as always. Thank you so much Nadia. Thanks a lot dear. Okay. So now uh, let me know. Meanwhile I'll just see if I can add more pieces. Here. Yes we can fix this one here. Just slide this piece here. Okay. Okay, so we got a uh, votes for white gesso. So let's go with white gesso. My white gesso is also about to dry. Okay, so let's go with white gesso. So so before adding focal point i am going to white uh, prime my surface because once we add a uh, focal then it will be a uh, bit hard for us to you know reach into all the places so that's the reason i am using sorry that's the reason i am covering it first so just wiggle your brush little bit so that way it will go into the gap okay. 
black gesso would have cover you know everything uh, nicely and since you guys said uh, white gesso so let's try with white gesso so we probably need one more layer of this white gesso because it's not covering uh, it okay so quickly let's do that oops so now see when you apply a layer of gesso uh, so that time uh, it looks good like otherwise you know it was looking a bit colorful so, yeah Oops. so uh, this side as well and for the base I am using MDF I love working on MDF so sometimes I do work on canvases as well but yeah most of the time I work on MDF so now see it's cover uh, not completely but uh, we will need one more layer of uh, white gesso here but before that let's dry this quickly around that we will add some more texture so maybe like this it will look nice see so again uh, oops using my heavy gel medium Just in case if you don't have heavy gel medium then you can use any kind of a PV glue as well. Only thing is, uh, oh, thank you so much Sushma. Thank you for your hearts. Okay, so only thing is uh, I, have, uh, I, have, I have gel medium so that's the reason I love using that. Just in case if you don't have then oops my glue gun is not heated that's okay and this kind of a pieces mdf pieces i mostly get from the element craft studio so just in case if you would like to purchase you can visit the element craft studio and over there you can find this kind of a designs i wish my glue gun was heated okay okay so now see i have applied a uh, gel medium as well as i am applying a uh, glue glue uh, glue stick as well i hope that's a proper word and now place it here so in the middle so this will be our focal today okay and now what i will do i will add some texture here okay for that um i'm going to uh take some deco stones what you are saying uh, instead of this gel yes absolutely you can use uh, fabricol as well or any kind of a you know uh, glue that is strong enough to hold your embellishment so you can uh, use that it's not necessary to add a um, heavy gel medium ok so in a stone I am adding a mod podge and I am just going to oops so 
okay i'm just going to mix this now see there are two ways you can first add glue on your project and then add these uh, stones but i just like the clustery look so that's the reason i have mixed this first and then i'm going to add this so just add this here and there and i absolutely have no idea like how this project will turn out to be because uh, i haven't planned anything so now i'm just going with the flow so please bear with me if this projects uh, if this project doesn't turn out the way you know uh, uh, and now i'm blabbering that's okay but guys thank you so much for your patience <laughs> because sometimes i feel you know while creating i blabber a lot so at some places i am just adding this just here and there and again if you don't have this kind of a uh, stones you can use any kind of a granules as well so here you can see i am just filling the you know uh, empty space so yeah with deco stone your you will be you know never be wrong like okay. so here and maybe little bit till here so i don't want my stones on these uh, puzzle pieces so just here and there as i said just here and there i'm adding uh what you are saying shilpa this is one of the best idea mixing yes absolutely uh and that way you will get nice clustery look as well now see here there are a lot of gaps so that's the reason i'm going to fill this here because it's not looking good so these stones works as a filler as well so uh, it's good if you know uh, if you are a beginner it's good to invest in this kind of a stones so there are four types of these uh, stones like not types sizes so mini micro and mega i guess a little bit okay that's done and let's add it here see how a uh, nice clustery effect we got here so just spread it using your palette knife it's uh, always better to use this kind of a palette knife so okay forgot to add here So just around composition, I'm adding. And again, guys, it's all up to you. Like you can add however you want. I'm just trying to keep it simple. Hi, Hina. Okay. And I have mixed lot of stones here. this wasn't needed so i'll just finish this here and there by adding here and there because if we kept it like that it will be kind of you know waste because we have added more podge in this so let's fill this gap here and you can also use ground texture paste if you want so that will also create nice effect on your project So I hope I'm not boring you guys. So where else here?
skin. Do let me know if you have any question. Just add here. It will look nice. here see we are done here we are almost done okay oops okay now what I will do I'll just add some water in this so after live uh, I will just you know clean this so that way it will not get dry thank you so much Sunita so see uh, this is how it looks as of now and now let's uh, dry this okay. Since we have added Mod Podge in this, so it will get dry easily. Fabric cream mod podge have kind of you know a fruity smell into it. So have you guys tried this uh, Fabric cream mod podge? It has kind of fruity smell. So whenever you hit this, so uh, you get kind of you know a fruity smell around. Okay, so this is done. And now where is my purple? So see this is this is the idea that i have in my mind and now let's uh, cover this with white gesso so wherever i have added a uh, these um, deco stones over there I'm just going to dab my brush so it will get cover okay. and I'm also uh, covering it twice because the color is still visible the uh, jigsaw pieces color is still visible so that's the reason so you can give two or three coats as per your wish but here i'm just going to add uh, two coats and when you dab the brush that way also you get nice texture on your uh, project so just uh, cover this here okay. we are almost done oh thank you so much Shilpa <laughs> and if you want you can add some ground texture paste here so uh, for extra you know um, extra interest or extra texture 
so i am not thinking to add any kind of a, a paste today so just prime this as well and now our project is ready to color First, let me try this. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, and now, oops, this is metal. It's kind of hot. I don't know. Okay, so now uh, I will just fix this. So just take a heavy gel medium. Just enough amount of heavy gel medium, and I'm adding heavy gel medium only in the center. Okay, and little bit of glue. Okay. Let's fix this here. This is my hair. Okay. Okay. I just lift the excess. See how beautiful it's looking. Thank you so much, Monica. Okay, so now uh, I'm thinking to add one more layer of this black gesso. Uh, sorry, white gesso. Okay, my brush is not working. just a layer of uh, white gesso so that way whatever uh, you know excess uh, glue is there we will uh, remove that because since in this uh, metal butterfly we have kind of you know a uh, gap here so there is a chance your glue or gesso will stuck there and after coloring it it will not look nice okay, so this is done and now we will color this so for coloring since we have used white gesso here so we can use some sprays uh, on this or we can use camel inks what do you guys say shall we use camel inks they look amazing And camel inks kind of you know uh, waterproof so uh, fixative is not necessary uh, before the you know dry brush technique see this is how it looks I'm loving it actually it looks nice not bad this camel inks here so these are the uh, camel inks these are color inks and they are a uh, kind of waterproof so, so in this I just love few shades Oops. and uh, we have emerald green we have dark green we can use these colors okay you see these are the colors that I have here so this is a uh, cobalt blue then dark green and then we have emerald green and then Russian blue and this is my favorite violet so we will use these colors today okay 
so it will be kind of multicolor so uh, three colors are from blue family and then green family so green and blue goes nice together I wish they come in spray bottles so that way it will be easier for us to you know uh, apply paint that's okay so when I was doing watercolor so that time I used to use these colors and I really love the you know way it looks So using round brush I am going to apply these paints uh, inks so first let's uh, spray some water so our inks will move on this okay spray a little amount of water and what is this and first I am going to take blue here and just color it see uh, we have applied water and that's the reason the paint is moving it really gives amazing uh, look so at the edges I am first applying this color okay you can also tilt your project little bit and now take little bit of green and let's mix this together see how beautiful it's looking okay and uh, I'm going to add some green here first okay and then I'm going back to blue and I'm going to mix these two colors together. So that way we will get nice blended look on our project. So a little bit here and there. Okay. And that's okay. Okay. Uh, what you are saying... Uh, Nadia this is uh, camel inks that I am using so they are waterproof so yeah is my video stuck or am I audible to you I don't know uh, power just uh, come back okay now here okay and now let's go back to the green so here I'm just making combination of these two shades and then I will add some violet in here yeah my router just uh, restarted Is it blur? Okay, so now this is done. Okay, and now what I will do, I will take some violet here. Oh, thank you so much, dear. And now I'll just take some violet and 
pan at some places and just creating a shadow see this violet is darker so this will create nice effect some pulses here so I'm just creating a shadow around this using violet shade okay you are saying Pallavi camera should be near uh, actually I can't adjust that at right now I don't know uh, we can't zoom it right can we yes oh yes we can zoom it okay so so now you can see right so I have I didn't know that we can zoom it in live I just try that now see how beautiful shade this is looking and now uh, just uh, add some water and dilute it little bit here and there so see this way uh, we have created shadow around the edges as well as the you know pieces thank you so much anita so i'm just picking up the excess paint okay and now on this so for this i'm adding blue just adding blue and don't worry as of now you uh, you will not see any kind of a difference but once we start highlighting then uh, you will get to know like you know uh, will get idea like uh, all the elements will pop so so first uh, coloring is necessary and then last part is highlighting okay oh, thank you so much thank you so much Sunita okay so this is done we are almost done with our color okay and this is looking amazing as of now what do you guys say is it looking nice Let's add a little bit color here. Is it looking good guys? What do you guys say? Like uh, I'm loving the shade. So let's add a little bit of green here and there. Green is kind of important here it looks good so we have kind of you know bluish and greenish shade here and now we will highlight this so you will get idea of all the elements that we have added so on butterfly I'm thinking to add some violet and these inks are perfect uh, perfectly work on metal as well so just in case if you want you can buy this okay so see this is done ah oh, thank you so much Pallavi and now we will dry this and then we will add highlights
and now since we have added a uh, lot of you know um, thank you so much crafty world it will take little time because we have added a uh, water into it so the paints are kind of flowy this inks are flowy and water makes them more flowy Hi Priyanka. Thank you so much dear for joining in. Okay. And look this uh, inks also have some uh, shine into it. So if I tilt my project then you will uh, see like see so these inks also have a kind of shine into it okay so now i'll just keep these bottles aside because we don't want color now and now we will highlight this so for highlighting uh, today we are going to use a uh, white gesso what do i say because it's been so long again i have used white white gesso i mostly use uh, wax to highlight so yeah and now only highlighting left so i'm just checking if there is any uh, water left here so there is no water you see how vibrant this shade is these colors are really vibrant okay and now we will add a white gesso to highlight and our project will be done so uh, using dry brush uh, so for dry, dry brushing make sure that you have you know completely dry brush like there should not be any water into it and then just take little amount of gesso and just take out the excess here we don't want too much of paint on this and using very light pressure apply it see using very light pressure so look at this look at this how beautiful effect we get uh, when we start applying a uh, paint using dry brush ah oh, thank you so much thank you so much karishma thank you shilpa and now let's add here as well so see earlier these pieces uh, was not visible but when we started adding uh, gesso using dry brush technique so everything is visible now so that's why dry brushing is kind of necessary and here as well little bit Oh thank you so much Sunita. 
it really means a lot to me okay. just light pressure thank you so much bhanu priya have i zoom it uh, uh, i guess it's too uh, zoom in can i zoom out little bit or it's looking good this texture of granules is looking from oh thank you so much dear thanks a lot let's add it here let's add some more over here i'm just adding highlights on this butterfly so see and now uh, let's add on to the background so this uh, you know when you add uh, okay i forgot why i what i was <laughs> about to say and yeah, this is very common with me so when you add a um, white gesso this way so uh, the color tone is you know kind of cools down okay and this side as well and we are almost done and we can add some uh, quote here as well i do have this word hope hope is a word here okay how it looks okay so we can add something like there or on this or here what do you guys guys say shall we add that it will look nice right okay now i don't want to overdo it just little bit here and there just little bit on these stones so see simple thing uh, gives amazing effect in mixed media it's not always necessary to use uh, you know fancy items yes absolutely sunita this is giving snow effect okay so this is done we can call this piece finish piece so we can add this okay. we can add this word here or maybe here here it will look nice or here here it's looking nice what do you guys say shall we add uh, this upper side or lower side thank you so much manisha thank you dhara so see uh, shall we add this hope here or shall we add this hope here do let me know where shall we add this oh thank you so much thank you so much shilpa i'm just coloring it with white okay upper side so 
I'm just coloring this into super white. Okay. And uh, we will add this. First, let me dry this. What you guys are saying? Okay, some are saying upper side, some are saying lower side. See here, I have some bits, so I have to remove this. So here, it will look nice. Add this. And here, here we have enough space. It will look nice here. So yeah, I will stick this uh, afterwards because it's not uh, dried yet. So I will just dry this and I might add some embossing powder on this and uh, then I will stick this. So if we add embossing powder on this, it will look nice. Okay. Yes, yes, Manisha, sure. I will uh, add the links uh, once this live is done. So thank you so much guys for joining in and uh, yeah as I said this was totally uh, you know impromptu video you can say because I haven't planned anything so uh, like say uh, 245 at 245 uh, I just realized that yeah uh, today I have live and then I just uh, quickly saw on my table on my table I had the jigsaw pieces I also had some popsicle sticks but a uh, few days back i have used that so today i thought let's use this uh, jigsaw pieces and i really love the way this uh, project turns out to be so thank you so much guys for joining in and thank you so much for your patience and your love oh thank you so much sunita thank you shilpa thank you dhara and i will be back with another project till then bye bye take care and happy creating